I learned a lot from Ivana Chubbuck, but here are my keys to success for the rest of us from my talk with her. Number one, figure out what you enjoy. I love her exercise that she mentioned of when does time speed up for you and when does time slow down for you because those are great indicators of what you really want to be doing. Two, be willing to sacrifice. She explained that for years she lived small and didn't expect to get paid large fees and have her dream pay all of her bills at first, especially since her clients were surviving on ramen noodles and living out of their cars. But she just kept doing the work. She skipped meals sometimes, she walked to save on gas, and she didn't mind because she was following her passion, which is another key tip here. All in all, it was a slow and steady incline over time to the massive multi-million dollar coaching business she owns today. Number three, be willing to let go. Her method is now a certified program for other coaches, and she has coaches in schools teaching her technique all over the world. How did she achieve that kind of scale? She said you have to give up control. Guys, to even hire a virtual assistant and start lightening some of your load, you're gonna have to give up control. She also mentioned that you have to give up what people think about you. She said that's a key to her most successful students is that they stop caring what people think. She also advised that you let go of your specific path you have envisioned to success. Remember, initially she thought she was going to be an actress, but she listened to her intuition and stayed open to the possibilities. So remember what she said, if you contain yourself, in any way to this one dream or path or how you're gonna get there, that means you've also blocked out all the other possibilities. Number four, capitalize on momentum. She said it had been 10 years and then all of a sudden Halle Berry said her name at the Academy Awards and bam, it was a frenzy and she knew she had to capitalize on it. So that's when she wrote and published her book. So really be thinking the second you get momentum, which is precious, how can you double down? Number five, talk with people, not at them. If you are a coach, she said she believed the reason most coaches fail is because they're talking down to people from this mountaintop and they don't wanna get vulnerable. So remember that you need to be with your students, not above them. Number six, embrace your business sense. As an artist who coaches artists, she has heard the whole creative excuse many times. And she says that you're really just denying a part of yourself because you can find that quote, left side of your brain. And she says you can turn some of the analytical and strategic parts of building your business into a creative process if you choose to look at it that way. So don't limit yourself on your quote, left brain or right brain, and really just try and focus on making the most of both sides of yourself because you do have it in you. Number seven, never stop learning. If you want to be a millionaire coach, think about how much are you reading every week? How many courses are you taking? How much are you studying? And really, maybe we should ask ourselves, how much are you actually absorbing and implementing and changing rather than just consuming, 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 which is different, you guys, than actually learning something and implementing it. And lastly, number eight, choose to overcome. I was so inspired when I researched her because all of her work focuses not on the hardships or your feelings, but on the overcoming of those things and as entrepreneurs we understand how devastating setbacks can be to the bottom line and to our morale and she says we have a choice to make to say to ourselves I'm gonna win in spite of this I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna make this fuel to inspire me to keep going to success no matter what